Hi guys, so uh, Adam from PMA Gaming. Just wanted to bring you a little video um, I've made pretty quickly really to try and get something released for you guys. Um, looking at the release of Air Mech Arena. I think it's been released before, um, about 2012, came out for PC. Um, so it's, it's been going around for a while. This um, This is me basically playing it on the Xbox one because uh, it's being adapted and released for the new consoles so if you don't know what it is uh, it's described as a free-to-play futuristic multiplayer online battle arena um, it's published by carbon games for microsoft windows originally um, say so about 2012 it came out uh, it got pretty good reviews and uh, pretty mixed reviews uh, metacritic i think averaged at 3.5 out of 5 so pretty standard really but it's not a bad game I like RTS games I'm into quite a few different ones um, I do like Total War I do like the Dawn of War series as well and this one's very different because instead of just controlling your different units you actually take the form of an air mech basically so this is me controlling my air mech as a fighter jet and these seem to be the, the standard base centers. Um, with the Xbox One, you can control your unit production straight for your controller, so you don't have to be near any of these buildings. Um, there does seem to be a rally of troops just going out and attacking different set points straight away. And then you can also build your own, deploy them, um, give them their own orders as well, so they don't just go off freely. You see I've just deployed two tanks here and just set them on an attack so they're just going to go off and find someone to fight. There's only a few other sort of commands that they've given you in the game uh, and those seem to settle as you can see there. Uh, link up, fight, patrol and the top one which is actually like a building capture. So as you can see on the bottom left is a minimap. Um, the two orange sections are the two areas that my opponent has taken over and uh, the two blue ones are obviously mine all my units are being shown uh, at the moment as blue this one is very much neutral um, so as you can see here I've changed from my air mech to a robot very transformer styly and it means I can actually get into the battlefield and, and start attacking as well and instantly back into a fighter jet there are a few different air mechs, uh, helicopters, and say different types of jets as well. Uh, and each player takes up an air mech that has overall control of their units and their bases. So, at the moment, being um, an early release, there's only a few standard uh, pieces. And so, the turrets which you can build and attach to your bases, which basically uh, seem to give them constant. Um, health regeneration whereas if you put them as standalone they don't really regenerate um, so I'm trying to take over another point get into third point down a um, little circle around it while carrying a tank so I can drop down these tanks and they won't do anything unless I tell them to so I'm going to make a little collection of tanks just on this part of the map here so they can't get hit by enemy fire and then pretty much just rally them across in numbers to overwhelm and and take over that point the idea is pretty much annihilation um, and realistically as well very much sort of company of heroes style um, control over the map gives you certain control points uh, you seem to generate uh, credits as the game progresses as well so depending on what you're doing it can slow down the unit production so as you can see here just rallying them straight across they will return fire without being really given a command or stance really at the bottom of the screen there's a, a strip um, that you see end game which gives you upgrades for your air mech so it does give you stronger um, shooting abilities 
with my air mech it actually gives me a, a, a melee uh, what you can see I'm doing here is I'm holding the red button on the Xbox One controller as I fly over them it highlights all of them without me picking them up and from there I can use the D-pad to set a stance for them so capturing or attacking um, now just picking up a few ground units your ground units these are the soldiers they're the ones that will actually capture the base and you need four of them they cover each four of black points you can see there once they're all covered that base essentially becomes mine and I can build out of it so I'm just going to move the tanks across here as you can see it's a standalone sort of base there's no ground track to it so no ground troops are going to be able to to get across to it at all there you see it flash in there the you are limited on how far you can fly especially when carrying items but going back to one of your bases as you can see just restores it completely um, if you're nowhere near a base then you have to go into the robot mode and it, it basically lets you collect your energies for flying uh, the drones circling me there are part of the upgrade system that the game has as well again just setting these tanks to go off to attack they'll go and do that all by themselves you don't really have to overwatch them and th as I say, there is a flow of rallying troops that are going to keep going regardless of what I'm doing so there you go another part of the upgrade as you see there my my uh, air mech has a shield and uh, a sword attack it's quite simple to use the attacking system the left stick on the Xbox One controller controls movement right stick actually controls fire so it's very much like one of your old arcade style type games really um, so let's say left stick move right stick fire and allows me to move direction and fire as well which is good to change from the air mech to the ro proper mech robot just a simple left trigger press and it switches um, if you hold the right stick it then shoots the gun that the air mech has if you want to go into the melee stance simply just holding the right trigger and then using the right stick so you can easily switch between the two the units that you're seeing on the little demonstration video I suppose um, are simple ones and who you unlock them you've got tank uh, like a, a, a hover well not hover like a, a buggy sorry a Humvee type style um, vehicle, uh, a general soldier unit and then your gun turrets which allow you to fortify your bases. You can see from the map um, in the bottom left there's around nine points there on the map that need to be taken over to have complete control and on the map there as you can see on the ground the enemy air mech is coming in to attack so I'm going to defend pretty easily there. is quite fast paced and it doesn't stray too far away from the existing RTS games but having your own air mech in this instance that flies around the, the battlefield and can pretty much control it and, and take part is, is pretty cool and now I'm being fought off by another air mech it gets quite intense when there's a few of you um, the main strategy from what I've played so far um, seems to be just force in numbers really. Um, sometimes your base will rally tanks for you but generally it is just the soldier units. They just keep going so if you focus on moving in vehicles and overwhelming points and bases and basically destroying them the rallied units will then come in and overtake it unless like the one earlier on it's very much out of ground contact so I had to airlift people across to attack it and then take it over um, the game itself is quite a, an interesting synopsis that's been put forward um, basically saying the world in the future is war torn by powerful weapons known as air mechs that dominate the battlefields in the fight for scarce resources you obviously com command your own transforming robot and your 
basically set as I said to capture and protect your own bases and build colossal armies there's a lot of stuff that you can unlock um, as you can see from this video here you are able to move the camera off as well or at least I am in this replay mode Seeing so in this mode, I'll also have a look at the other air mech for you. Uh, we'll just have a quick zoom across. But as you can see, they all take their own different forms, their own different powers. Freely firing missiles, where I seem to have a chain gun. There is also um, a special ability that my mech has, which is so you can unlock eventually, and that's purely just. Uh, if I press the square button on my controller it allows me to basically fire some missiles so I've got a good mix of missile and, and chain gunning functionality with mine bar across the top um, shows you obviously your level the credits there where I'm hitting 39,40,000 the possession on the map 44 to 25 with an unclaimed area in the top right corner I think that is um, it is quite fast pace you just see from the little circling maneuver there uh, so the tanks won't do anything unless you tell them to do something or any unit for that matter um, you can when you pick them up preset it so when I pick up a unit you'll see in the bottom right it'll highlight the command icons or again if I hold the red button and highlight the units I want to control and then press the directional key it'll tell them what I want them to do go and attack ground forces or move into the base areas Again, like most RTS games here, it gives you the option to return anything that you may have overbooked, really. Uh, <coughs> gives you a straight refund for those. So I am on the fly doing upgrades to my Air Mech. So say across the bottom of the screen shows you all the different options. And you can control the D-pad back and forward and up and down to, to select them and upgrade them on the fly. Which is... <coughs> Just excuse me, which is why I've ended up with three drones now circling my air mech. It does seem to be very much um, an attack in numbers. You see, it hasn't taken long for me to to move straight to the final enemy base. My forces have come in and distracted everyone at the front. It allows me to sit at the back and basically take out as much as I want to there again just using that right stick to direction directional fire and skirmish is complete um, so that's my first look at this game um, let me know if you want to look at any more anything else you want to know I don't mind um, looking into any area you have any questions on but as always please like subscribe and let me know what you think thanks for your time